Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Morning Prayers. I'm Steve Toby, and today is Wednesday, uh, February the 8th, and today we celebrate the prophet, over my left shoulder there, uh, the prophet Zechariah, and let's read his uh, troparian for today. We celebrate the memory of your prophet Zechariah, O Lord. Through him we entreat you to save our souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Well, let's say good morning to uh, Robin. Good morning, Robin. Nice. Good morning. And Robin says it's nice and balmy where she is, otherwise. That's good to hear. So, well, what else is new? Pippin's unwrapping his morning food. <laughs> keep, him, keep him occupied. And uh, let me see, Kurt will be back tonight. Kurt will be back tonight for our Bible study. So that'll be good. That's right. Yeah, Miss Kurt. Yes, we did. I did. All righty. So would you start us off with prayer, with our uh, scripture readings? Absolutely. We have got Ephesians 2, verses 4 through 10 as our epistle. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But God, who is rich in mercy, because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised us up and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that of not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. And we go to Matthew 10, 16 through 22 for our gospel. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Behold, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. Therefore, be wise as servants and harmless as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to councils and scourge you in their synagogues. You will be brought forth before governors and kings for my sake, as a testimony to them and to the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, do not worry about how or what you should speak, for it will be given to you in that hour what you should speak, for it is not you who speak, but the spirit of your Father who speaks in you. Now brother will deliver up brother to death, and our father is child, and children will rise up against parents and cause them to be put to death, and you will be hated by all for my name's sake. But he who endures to the end will be saved. Thank you. So endure to the end, my friends, endure to the end. Well, let's say good morning to everybody. And Omish, oh, good morning. I got to blow my nose again. There. Well, there's Nellie Cart Valley sitting right up there in the front pew. Good morning to you, Nellie. And Maria Fenton, good morning. And she says, my friend Peter needs some prayers for special intentions. And Lord, we join Maria, our sister, and prayers for her friend Peter. We pray to your Lord that uh, you grant his petitions and uh, that his intentions and his petitions are pleasing to you. We pray for that. Amen. And there's Tess Plummer, good morning to you. Lena May, good morning. 
And uh, Maria Masseri, good morning, prayer family. Praying you have a blessed and a peaceful day. There's our friend Barb Anderson, good morning. Anita Dalton, good morning. Lord have mercy. Umesh, Umesh, shalom, my prayer family. Good morning to you. Please pray for me and my small church, and we do, Lord. And pray, pray for Bravani. She must be getting close to delivering. Yeah. And uh, let me see here. Anita Dalton. Um, good morning, everyone. My brother Robert is still struggling. He is retaining a lot of fluid and has had to have his lungs drained twice this week. Our mom, June, is fearing the worst. So, Lord, please have mercy. Yes, Lord, have mercy on Robert. Return him to good health and, and give that family strength and hope. We pray for that. Karen Karlanovich, uh, good morning, Steve, and sweet prayer family. Please continue to pray with me for all the precious people who have lost their lives in Turkey and their families who survived. Yes, Lord, we pray for all of those. We pray that you have mercy on their souls, all those who have died. Last I heard, the death, uh, death count, that sounds rather callous, I think, but uh, it's over 7,000. Oh, Lord, we pray for them. Have mercy on their souls. And Lord, we pray for all those survivors, and we pray that you have mercy on them as well. And there's Debbie Owens. Good morning, Deb. Thank, let me see. Saying thank you, uh, Tess Plummer, for sharing. Amen. Katarina Salas, good morning. Please pray for me. My surgery is tomorrow. Yes, Lord. We pray for successful surgery for Katarina. And we pray for the health and healing for her mother as well, Anna. And over here, we got uh, Joyce Marie, good morning. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. Jonathan Nichols, good morning. Time for Jesus and coffee. Amen. Hmm. Violetta, good morning. Have a blessed morning, Steve, and everyone. You betcha, you too. Earl Winter, good morning, Steve and everyone from Vicki and Earl down there in Nashville. Catherine Houston in Venice, Florida, good morning. Prayer family. Amber Tremaine, good morning, everyone. Lisa Itzel, good morning from Hattiesburg, Mississippi. And praying for you and Sean, your husband. Gary Ballard, good morning, everyone. Good morning to you, Gary. Eleone Shanera, Christ is in our midst. He is and forever shall be. He's there to remind us. Good morning, Steve and everyone. Oh, can we please pray for two of my family members who have lost their jobs? This is from Catherine Houston. My son, Brandon, and my cousin, John. Lord, we pray that, uh, pray, dear Lord, that they find new jobs quickly. We pray for that. We pray, dear Lord, that you help them out. Amen. Katzerga, good morning, brothers and sisters, and Muratane, all the way from Dublin, Ireland. Good morning from Ireland. Faith and Bagara, good morning to you. Good morning. And okay, so uh, uh, would you lead us in prayer this morning, Robin? Absolutely. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, Comforter, and the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. 
Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Having arisen from sleep, we fall down before thee, O good one, and sing to thee, O mighty one, the angelic hymn, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From bed and sleep thou hast raised me, O Lord. Enlighten my mind and my heart, and open my lips that I may praise thee. O Holy Trinity, holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Suddenly the judge shall come, and the deeds of each shall be revealed. But with fear let us cry out in the middle of the night. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. That was Pippin. I'm so sorry. Lord, have mercy. 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 Arising from sleep, I thank thee, O Holy Trinity, because of thy great goodness and long suffering, thou wast not wroth with me. St slothful and sinful as I am, neither hast thou destroyed me in my transgressions, but my compassion thou hast raised me up as I lay in despair, that at dawn I might sing the glories of thy majesty. Do thou now enlighten the eyes of mine understanding, and open my mouth to meditate on thy words, to understand thy commandments, to do thy will, to him thee in heartfelt confession, to praise thine all-holy name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before our worlds, light from light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us and for our salvation came from came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried and on the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of the Father and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We bless thee, O God most high and Lord of mercies, who ever work as great and mysterious deeds for us, glorious, wonderful, numberless, who providest us with sleep as a rest from our infirmities and as a repose for our bodies tired by labor. We thank thee that thou hast not destroyed us in our transgression, 
but in thy love towards mankind, thou hast raised us up as we lay in despair, that we may glorify thy majesty. We entreat thine infinite goodness, enlighten the eyes of our understanding, and raise up our minds from the heavy sleep of indolence. Open our mouths and fill them with thy praise, that we may unceasingly sing and confess thee, who art God glorified in all and by all, the eternal Father with thine only begotten Son, and thine all holy and good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. It is truly meet to bless thee, O Theotokos, who art ever blessed and all blameless, and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without corruption didst bear God the word, and art truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. O Lord, grant me thy peace to greet all this day is to bring. Grant me the grace to surrender myself completely to thy holy will. And every hour of this day, instruct and guide me in all things. Whatever tidings I may receive in this day, teach me to accept tranquilly in the firm belief that thy holy will governs all. Govern thou my thoughts and feelings in all that I do and say. When unforeseen things occur, let me not forget that all is sent by thee. Teach me to behave sincerely and reasonably towards everyone, that I may bring confusion and sorrow to no one. Bestow on me, O Lord, strength to endure the fatigue of the day and to bear my part in its events. Guide thou my will. Teach me how to pray. Pray thou thyself within me. Amen. Amen. And now a blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be merciful to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Father, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Well, thank you so much, and we'll see you this evening for our Bible study. We'll finish up Chapter 7, some good stuff at the end of Chapter 7 of St. John's Gospel, and go on to Chapter 8 as we work our way through St. John's Gospel. So there we go. Thank you so much, and you and Pippin have a good and safe day. And I guess I was going to say stay warm, but it's kind of warm and balmy where you are right now. So may it continue. That's it. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. And now it's time that we pray for each other. So, Lord, we ask that you have mercy on those who we are about to pray for, bring them to good health. And, Lord, we pray, we pray, dear Lord, that you give them your peace. Amen. Well, Lord, we pray for Anita and David uh, Dalton. We pray for them, Lord. Uh, keep them healthy and strong. And uh, they're from Bean Station, Tennessee, Lord. So don't forget Bean Station. We also pray for Anita's brother, Robert. Having a tough time health-wise, Lord. And we pray uh, that you bring him to good health. We pray for that. We pray for his, his whole family, his mother and sisters and brothers. And we pray for that whole family, Lord. Give them strength and hope. We pray for uh, Anita and David's uh, daughter, Sarah, that she comes home in faith and that she returns home, Lord, to her family. We pray for um, Stephen, um, Anita's brother-in-law, Lord. He had cancer, but you healed him. We thank you for that. Raymond Cannon asked to pray for his mother, Sherry, and Althea. They both suffer from cancer. Lord, we pray for um, Kim DeForest down there in uh, San Antonio, Texas. We pray for the health of uh, that family, Lord. The DeForest family, daughter Megan, who suffers from cancer, the son Ross, and uh, for Kim, who suffers from uh, Crohn's disease. We pray that you heal each of them, and we pray for the husband and father of that family, Jack, that you keep him in good health. We pray for Nelvia Agnew, Lord, who has fallen asleep. We pray that uh, she has found eternal rest with you. We pray, Lord, for Gary and Stefania Ballard. Good morning, Gary. Good to see you. We pray for their health, Lord, and we pray for the health of their parents, Mary, Ella, and Alice. 
We pray for their children. We pray for Ma Madhu, Aisha, Jasmine, Emmanuel, Jonathan, Benjamin, and their grandson, Reynard. We pray for their career and life pursuits, Lord, and we pray that you make them healthy and strong. We also pray, Lord, for a Gary, that you give him the strength and focus to complete his assignments, and we pray for Daryl. Um, Daryl, Lord, uh, has fallen asleep. We pray that he has found eternal life with you. And we pray for Kevin McKirchen, who's recovering from that stroke. We pray for his good health. Lord, we pray for uh, Maria Mosseri. We pray for her and her family. We pray for her sister-in-law, Adina, who has cancer. And we're praying for her mom, who has that atrial fibrillation, Lord. We pray for her and for uh, um, Maria's sisters, who are uh, caregivers to their mother. We pray for them. Give, give them strength. And, Lord, uh, Maria's having a tough time at work right now. We pray that you give her guidance, protection, and uh, protect her from all evil, wrath, danger, and distress. And we pray for... Uh, her husband, Savarillo, and daughters, Philomena and Georgia. Amen. Okay. Oh, Lord, we pray for Catherine Houston. Good morning, K KP. We pray for her health. We pray for a healing for her sister. We pray for her friend, Susan, who's being treated for bone cancer, Lord. We pray for Kathy, that she returns in faith to our faith and that she becomes her best self. We pray for Ann Gaffey, for her health as she recovers from a stroke. We pray for uh, Brandon's family, or Catherine's family. We pray for Brandon and uh, his wife, Nicole, and their little baby girl, Poppy Rose. We pray for them. And Lord, we pray that Brandon finds work soon. We pray for that. Now, we also pray for uh, Catherine's son, John, our son, cousin, John. We pray for her cousin, John, Lord. He also has lost his job, and we pray, Lord, that he finds work soon. We pray for that. Now, Lord, we pray for uh, Nadine, a friend, and uh, we pray for Donna, Kevin, Keith, and Jan Novak, each suffering from cancer, Lord. We pray for healing for each of them. We pray for Michael Rager and Joycey, and Lord, they ask us to pray for Janice Proctor, who suffers from lung cancer. Lord, we pray for the health of my family. We pray for my uh, granddaughter Sarah. We pray for my uh, daughter Maureen and her family. We pray for uh, Christina that she remains cancer free. We pray for the health of my wife Sharon. And Lord, we pray for uh, the health of my wife. And we pray for uh, our friends down in Florida, Ann Bradner and Jim and Ann Robinson. And Lord, we pray for uh, Gary Fisher up here in Phelps, New York. We pray for our sister Lena May for her health and a healing for her, Lord, please. And we pray, Lord, for her special intentions. We pray for uh, her daughters, her husband and their daughters, Jennifer and Stephanie. We pray for Charlene, that she remains cancer-free. We pray for the health and healing for Bernie Grant and his mother. We pray for Karen Kurlanovich. We pray for them, Lord, uh, Karen, for uh, health and healing. And we pray for her children and grandchildren. We pray for all of them, Lord. Keep them going strong. We pray for Danell and Jana and... Uh, we pray for Chris and uh, you know, all the children, Lord, and I know I've missed some there. And uh, we pray that you keep them all healthy. We pray for our grandchildren. We pray for George, for healing for him, and for uh, Gabe over in Japan. He's in the Marines. Keep him safe and protect him, Lord. And we pray, Lord, that he comes closer in faith to you. Amen. Well, Lord, we pray for Kat Zerga and her sister for their health and safe travels. They've taken a trip to, or Kat's taken a trip to South Carolina. Keep her safe. We pray, Lord, for um, the health of Stephanie Acario. We pray for Catherine Salcedo and her family, Lord. They're going through some tough times. We pray that you help them out. We pray for Catherine, Raphael, her husband. We pray for Bianca and Rodrigo, little Izio. We pray for John and his children as well. We pray at St. Michael's, Lord. We're praying for uh, Ethel Peters, My, and Aziza Baruti, Stella Susuris, Enum George, Mary Malark, Barbara Essa, George Abraham, Hugh Mater, Bryn May, Rosie Wallace, Michelle Quagliana, Sophie King, Linda Beckley, Steve and Sharon Toby, Joseph Madiri, Joseph Felix, Stephen Fraser, George Morewood. We pray for Michelle Mason and John Showalter, James Herbert, 
Charles Thomas, Ruth and Jane Jabera, Marion Canale, Cooper Wolf, Christy, Daniel. We pray for uh, Curia Jocelyn, for Curia Jane Solberg. We pray for the... Uh, Dory Harris and Kelly and Shannon Levy, Jason Post, Michael Abraham, Robert D'Arsenio, Steve Rumian, Michael Joseph, Sister Tatiana, Stephen Allen, Father, Father Stephen Allen, Father Philip McCaffrey, Jorge Luqua. We pray for Rennie Abraham and George Michaels and John Nicholson. Give them good health. Give them your peace, Lord. Amen. And healings. We pray for our sister over in Geneva. New York, Carmi Simeone, Lord, we pray for her health. We pray for Rob King. We pray for his health and the health of Tucker. We pray for his friend Mike, Lord, who's had several surgeries to this point, and I think he's got another one coming up. So, Lord, we pray that you bring Mike to good health. We also pray for Rob's uh, children and grandchildren, that they come home in faith to you. We pray for his sister Dixie, that you help her with her struggles. And we pray, Lord, for... Um, Judy, that she remains cancer-free. Now, Lord, we pray for Earl and Vicki Winter over there in Nashville. Good morning to you both. We pray for them, Lord, for their good health. We pray for Vicki's parents, Jimmy and Martha, down in Tupelo, Mississippi. We pray for success for Earl's business. We pray for the health of Zach and Lindsay and Lindsay's friend Donna. We pray for Jane Robbins and Ann Hawkins. We pray that you bring Albina, Tom, and Sonia back to good health. And we pray for Alyssa Sides, who suffers from cancer. Well, Lord, we're praying for our sister, Barb Anderson. Good morning, Barb. We're praying for her, Lord, for her good health. She's going to have some heart surgery coming up, Lord. We pray that that goes well. We pray that you heal her of her cancer. We pray for that as well. And, Lord, we pray for uh, the health, and uh, we thank you, Lord, for healing her son, Archpriest Michael, from that cancer. Now we pray, dear Lord, that he remains cancer-free. Lord, we pray for... Um, Natalia Klaus, over there in the Netherlands, Lord, we pray for her. Uh, we pray, dear Lord, that uh, you send her the Holy Spirit to help her along, and we pray for her family for their health. Well, Lord, we pray for Stravula, Baskos, and her husband, Ilya, and good morning, good morning, uh, Stravula. Good morning to you. Well, Lord, we pray for Stravula and Ilya and their family. We pray for uh, Marie. We pray for Uncle Demetrios, who's fallen asleep. We pray that he has found eternal life with you. We pray for his wife, Felicia. We pray for her, Lord, for her health. We pray for Raphael, Robert, and Antigone. We pray for Aaron, that you heal his heart. We pray for George, that you heal him of cancer. And, Lord, we pray for Katina. No, not doing well, Lord, not doing well. And we pray, dear Lord, that you improve her health and bring her back to good health. And we pray for her and Katina's family as well. Amen. I see Katrina Bennett is with us. Good Good morning, and Katrina. She says, give thanks for healing. Amen. And appointment tomorrow, may it still be clear. We pray for that, Lord. Amen. And let me see here. Lord, we pray for Maria Fenton. Good morning. Well, Lord, we pray for Maria Fenton. We pray, dear Lord, uh, for her health and special intentions. We pray for her daughter, Felicia, and Felicia's family. We pray for Robert, that's uh, Maria's son-in-law. We pray for him, Lord, that he comes home in faith to you. We pray for the health of Morris and his special intentions. And Lord, we pray for Mar Marilyn, that you heal her heart. We pray for Joanne Taylor. She suffers from cancer, Lord. And Lord, we pray for our catechumens. We pray that they continue to grow in faith in you. We pray for the catechumens of the Holy Spirit Parish in Venice, Florida. There are Thomas, Ann, Curtis, Craig, and Melissa. We pray for the catechumens of All Saints of America Parish in Homer, Alaska, Ken and Nancy Klein. We pray for the new catechumen at St. Sophia's in San Antonio, Obi. Lord, we pray for the uh, three new uh, catechumens at St. George's in Spring Valley, Illinois. We pray for the catechumens at the Nativity of Christ Parish in uh, Youngstown, Ohio. We pray for those at uh, St. Ananias Parish in Evansville, Indiana. We pray for the catechumens of St. John Chrysostom Parish in Fort Wayne, Indiana. We pray for the catechumens of St. George's Parish in Fresno, California, Kenneth, Madison, Justin, and Karen. And good news, Lord. Good news. i got to write this down. At St. Michael's Parish in Louisville, Kentucky, Lord. Fifty-four. 
54 catechumens. And Lord, we thank you for that. And quite an active parish. We thank you, Lord. And uh, Alex Chenier is among those. And uh, that's Alioni's parish. And at St. Uh, Michael's in uh, Geneva, New York, we pray for Jay Briscoe. We pray for him, Lord. Amen. Well, Lord, we pray for Tina Showalter. We pray for her ministry at St. Michael's and for her health. And we pray, dear Lord, that you bring her husband, John, back to good health. Lord, we pray for Tom Abraham and his family, for their health, especially for little Bryn May, especially little Bryn May, Lord. And, Lord, we pray for Joyce Marie and her husband, Tim, for their good health. We pray for the health and well-being of everyone in this prayer group, and that God hear our prayers and be glorified in them. Joyce uh, also asks us to pray for her sister, Janet, that she remains cancer-free, and for the health of her mother, Joyce. And uh, we pray for all of their children and grandchildren, for your mercy and grace, that your will be done in each of their lives. And pray for Jolene and Jeremiah that their households be guided by the Holy Spirit, protected by your angels, and follow your leading. And Lord, we pray for Jeremiah's father, Dan Smith, that he remains cancer-free. We pray for uh, Joyce's cousin, Connie, for healing of body and soul, and that she continues to grow in faith in you. Lord, we pray for St. George's Parish in Spring Valley, Illinois. Uh, we pray, dear Lord, for Father Mike and uh, Mark, and uh, we pray for... Uh, Mary Mary's Market, and the whole congregation there. May that parish flourish and grow. We pray for your blessings in All Saints Parish in Chicago, together Father Andrew and Father Patrick Reardon. Lord, we pray for Joanne Manaski out there in Phoenix, Arizona. We pray for her. We pray for her cousin Mark, who's fallen asleep. We pray for Claire, family friend who suffers from cancer, Lord. We pray for healing for Claire. Now, Lord, we also pray for uh, Joanne's uh, daughter Erin and her husband Andrew. We pray for her son Corey and uh, her three brothers Eugene, Stephen, and Paul for health and healings. We pray for healing for Madison. That's Joanne's great niece. We also pray, Lord, for uh, Rachel uh, for her health. We pray for Joel who has fallen asleep. And Lord, we pray for and we thank you for healing Jackie, Bev, and Jack from their cancers. Thank you. Now we still pray for Randy Lord, who suffers from cancer, and we pray for Randy's caregiver, Jude. Lord, we pray for uh, Amy and Eric Green over there in Lynchburg, Virginia. Lord, we pray for them, for their uh, health, their faith, and Eric's business, and Amy's students. And uh, Lord, we pray for Amy for healing that, uh, that wound that she has on her tongue. It's persistent, and uh, we pray for healing for her. Now, we also pray, dear Lord, for uh, their daughters, Eric and uh, Amy's daughters, Sarah, Natalie, and Bryce. May the Holy Spirit protect, guide, and inspire them to a deeper faith in you. And, Lord, we pray that the Holy Spirit helps them to continue to make good decisions in their lives. We pray for Amy's mom, Lois, who just fell and broke a couple of bones in her arm, and she had surgery on Monday, and we pray, dear Lord, that all went well with that. We pray for Glenn and Grace, Eric's parents, for their health. We pray for Amy's brother Rick and his crew, their first responders. Keep them safe. We pray for Randy. We continue to pray for Randy. Lord, have mercy on him. He has fallen asleep. We pray for Tabitha, Austin, and Naomi. And we pray for their health. We pray for Clementine, Terrence, and Sean for health and endurance. We pray for Christina and Teresa. And Lord, we pray for them, that uh, you heal them of their migraine headaches. We pray for Lauren and Ryder, mother and son. We pray for their health, and we pray that Lauren finds a permanent housing. We pray for little Levi, a little two-year-old little boy suffering from cancer, Lord. We pray for him, but things are going well, and we thank you so much for that. We also pray for his parents, Dustin and Jessica. We pray for Belle, Andrea, and their families for healing and strength. We pray for Pam, Jay, and Christina for healings, and we pray for Rosemarie and Imogene. They're both in nursing homes, Lord. We pray, dear Lord, that you keep them safe and protect them and healthy. Keep them healthy. Well, Lord, we pray for Debbie Owen. Good morning, Deb. We pray for Debbie, Lord. You make life a little less complicated and a little less stressful for her. We pray for that. And, uh, Lord, we pray for success for her private practice. We pray for the health of her father as well. And, Lord, we pray for Debbie's husband, Matt, that he's better able to handle stressful situations. 
we pray for uh, Matt and uh, Debbie's children, Amaya and Clara and Sheo, Jordan and Eleanor. We pray for them, Lord. We pray that they come closer in faith to you and make good decisions in their lives. And Lord, we pray especially for Gio, that you help him along. We pray for that. And Lord, we pray for Debbie's friends, Yelena and Masha. And we pray for Lori, who suffers from cancer. Now let's see if uh, Joseph is here with us this morning. Joseph Khalil. Go up here. And I don't see Joseph. Oh, there's Rob King, though. Good morning. Oh, there he is. There he is. Joseph is here. And he has a, a verse from Psalm 111. He has made his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He has given food to those who fear him. He will be ever mindful of his covenant. Amen. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you. And, uh, oh, Rob King says, good morning, all. Hope all is well with your neighbors down the street after the events yesterday. Well, yeah, that was actually on Monday, and there was a, a chimney fire, but it was quickly taken care of by the fire department. So I just found that out yesterday afternoon. So, Lord, thank you for that. Thank you, and thank you, Rob. Well, Lord, we pray for Joseph Khalil. We pray for him, Lord. Keep him healthy. Protect him. We pray, dear Lord, that his many ministries are pleasing to you and, and uh, a blessing all those touched by them. Thank you, Lord, for Joseph. Now, Lord, we pray for Joseph's uh, two sons, Toby and Luke. We pray that you send them the Holy Spirit, help them and guide them and inspire them in their lives. We pray for Luke that you protect them from all infections. We pray for Annabelle and Gabriella. And Lord, we pray for uh, Joseph's mother, Odette, for a, for a healing from cancer and return to good health. And we pray for Joseph's wife, Renia. We pray for her, Lord, as well. Keep her healthy. Amen. And I know she has some health problems going on. Oh, Lord, we pray for Robin, and Robin Armstrong and Pippin. Keep them both healthy and safe, Lord. We pray for that. We pray for Robin's... Uh, Father, Robert, who has fallen asleep, we pray for uh, Robin's mother, Car Carolyn. We pray, dear Lord, for her health and safety on that new scooter of hers. We also pray, pray Lord, for Malia, the young lady who suffers with the brain tumor. We pray for Malia's mother, Laurie. We pray for Francis, and we pray for Gary for full recovery from his recent, uh, from his recent surgery. Lord, we pray for Jonathan Nichols, and we thank you for Jonathan. Lord, we pray for Jonathan, and we thank you so much for healing him from that cancer. And Lord, we pray that he remains in good health. We pray for his friends, Max, Dwight, Caitlin, Jeff, and Christina, for health and healings. Lord, Stefan Bennett asked to pray for our spiritual fathers worldwide. So, Lord, I pray for Father Gregory at St. Michael's, my parish. Pray for Father Constantinos and his ministry at the St. Irene Orthodox Orphanage and Mission in Kenya. We pray for Father Antipas and his ministry in Nairobi and uh, Kenya. And we pray for Father Emmanuel at St. Sophia's in Nairobi. Now, Lord, we also pray for Father Demetrius Leosis at St. Basil's in Ocala, Florida. We pray for, uh, oh, Amy Green asks to pray for Father Joseph at St. George's Parish in Lynchburg. Virginia. We pray for Stelio's two priests, Father Theodore and Nectarios. We pray for Christina Hunter's priest, Father Simon. We pray for Kathleen Purdy's son, Archpriest James Purdy. We pray for Michael and Joyce Rager's uh, priest, Father Daniel Hackney. We pray for Carmen Elrod's priest, Father Surreal and her godson, Father Nick. We pray for uh, Barb Anderson's son, Archpriest Michael. We pray for Father Herman, Father Dragan Mitrovic, Julie Dumont's priest, Father Andrew Short, Father Adam Roberts down in Houston, uh, near Houston at St. Paul's. We pray for Alioni's priests, Fathers Ephraim, Lucas, and Seraphim. And Lord, we pray for them at uh, St. Michael's in Louisville, Kentucky. And I'm sure they're, they're busy with 54 catechumens. And Lord, we pray for Father Thomas Newland. That's Gary Ballard's priest at St. Sophia's and... Uh, San Antonio. Amy Green asks to pray for Father Sam and Father Jeremy. We pray for Karen Valentes' husband, Father Constantine. 
Raymond Cannon asks to pray for Father Weber and Father Dan. And Lord, we pray for uh, Robin Armstrong's priest, Father John Parcells, at Christ the Savior Parish in Berlin, Maryland. Lord, we pray for these priests. We pray for their ministries, for their health, and for their families, Lord. Now, Lord, we also pray for Mother Elizabeth, for her uh, ministry, her health, and, uh, Lord, we pray for her family as well. We pray for our bishops, Bishop Sava, Daniel, Benjamin, Nicholas, and Alexander. We pray for these bishops, for their ministries, their health, and, Lord, we pray for their families. Amen. Now it's time to go around and see if there's any other, uh, see if there's any other prayer request. And let me see here. Okay, Zerga says, good morning. Good morning, Joseph Khalil. Elioni, prayers ascending for everyone in Turkey and Syria and all those who lost their lives. I pray for peace and comfort for them. Amen. Lord, have mercy. We join Elioni in that prayer. And... Amber Tremaine, prayers for Brandon and John. Lord, keep them from discouragement as they search for employment. May they lean confidently on you during this time of uncertainty. Show them the way to go, Lord. Amen. And Elioni says, yes, Steve, it is a very active parish. That's St. Michael's in uh, Louisville. And over here. I would love to go down to St. Michael's in uh, Louisville. See what's going on there. So, Lord, we ask that you remember and have mercy on all of those that we have prayed for this morning. We ask, dear Lord, that you extend your healing hands on all those who are suffering physically, emotionally, and spiritually. We ask you for your healing, for your grace, and for your love as we give you our love. Now, Lord, we pray that your mother, the most holy Virgin Mary, the Theotokos, remembers us and our prayer intentions and her prayers when she prays. And we pray that our, our saint of the day, the prophet Zechariah, we pray to your Lord that he remembers us and our prayer intentions in his prayers. O Holy Father, Heavenly Physician of our souls and bodies, who has sent your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to heal all our ailments and deliver us from death. We ask, dear Lord, that you uh, visit and heal your servants, all those that we have prayed for this morning. We ask that you uh, grant them release from pain and restoration, health and vigor, that they may give thanks unto and bless your holy name, of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Well, folks, we'll see you again this evening for the Gospel Minute Live. That's at 9 p.m. It's our uh, uh, Bible study night. Kurt will be back. Kurt will be back, and Joe will be here, and so will uh, Robin. So, getting back to normal. Nice, nice. And uh, let me see. Oh, tonight we're studying, or finishing up Chapter 7 of St. John's Gospel and moving on into Chapter 8. So that's tonight. So may God bless us all. Amen. So there's two things that you need to remember. One, God loves you. He really, really, really does. And two, we all love one another. And we really, really, really do. Amen. So until tonight, may God bless us all. Let's have a great day. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Have a great day. Oh, give thanks unto you.